Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for the next bout of the evening, making his way to the Draco Cage, David Derby. Ryan, here comes the always colorful David Derby. Now, I've seen a lot of fights, and you've seen a lot of fights. Have you ever seen a fighter walk out to Margaritaville? Well, David Derby is an Outer Banks guy living in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. This is for all the fans that came up from the Outer Banks to see him, the beachgoers, the locals. They love the Jimmy Buffett. They love their David Derby, and uh, we're hoping David puts on a great show for us here tonight. Age 42, still, still uh, making this a career. He's fought George Shepard, his opponent tonight, once before at M1, another Russian promotion. Shepard won that fight, so we'll see if uh, Derby can even the record tonight. We'll see what everybody's learned. David Derby, seven kids, scholarships, athletes, landowners. He's very proud of his kids. He wanted to make sure I told everyone that he's kind of handsome. So you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, he works with an after-school program. You know, here's a guy, he told me he was shot at 18 ended up in prison and what he's doing is helping kids make better decisions than the decisions he felt he made at that he said he's anti-bully anti-obesity anti-drug and pro goal so here's a guy who honestly really does give back and, and jay that's just that's not just lip service if, if you were able to follow david derby on facebook you'll see those posts you'll see the community action uh, and again great fighter and uh, here to put on a show for the fans funny he calls himself boxer wrestler but he also competes jiu-jitsu yeah, i've seen many pictures with a lot of and knockabouts. his opponent george shepherd <laughs> here comes george shepherd another one of the thoroughbreds from the mmai stable one of the most physically gifted, not fighters, athletes I have ever seen in any sport. This kid is physically gifted. He's 25 years old. He's already had 22 fights, Jay. Had a lot of fights early in his career, maybe, maybe some misguidance, maybe some he shouldn't have taken. But he made that move to Richmond, Virginia, to MMA Institute, training full time, devoting his life to this sport, and it has paid dividends again. You train with all these pros, not only that we've seen, you know, seen here tonight, but the other ones that are back at MMAI, and uh, you can only get better. From the same part of the country, I'm from Long Island. Uh, Yankees, I believe we're Yankees until we moved down here, then we're damn Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Two he favorite fighters are Jose Aldo and John Bones Jones. Here's the thing about George that you'd be afraid to ask him, and I almost was, huge Betty Boop fan. Yeah, he's a, he's a, kid, he's a kid that he likes video games. He wants you to know, I play video games, I like anime, and I like to fight, and that's about it. you, you got to love the character in George Shepard. Now, a great striker. Some forget that he's got a great, very good wrestling pedigree. So an all-around great fighter, George Shepard, ranked in the world at 169. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Draco Rules lightweight division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at an even 157 pounds. He is a boxer wrestler with a professional record of 11 victories, opposite five defeats, fighting out of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. David Do or Die Derby. The opposition comes in the form of the man standing across the cage to my left and fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall. His official weight 155 and three quarter pounds. He is a mixed martial artist. His record 14 victories, opposite eight defeats. Fighting out of Richmond by way of Newport News, Virginia, George Lights Out Shepard. Oh, referee Scott Howard.
Ryan, if you're in David's corner, how are you telling him to approach a fighter like George? Well, you know, uh, uh, with the ground game that, that David possesses, you, you've got to, first of all, stay out of that reach of, of Shepard as we talked about his, his striking prowess. You've got to try to get inside, do something, do some damage there. But again, Shepard has that wrestling background, can easily counter that. Of note, this is the first professional Draca rules fight on American soil. We are watching here tonight with George Shepard, David Derby. Again, those rule differences, shorter rounds, three three-minute rounds instead of three fives. There are no elbows allowed anywhere, and once a fight goes to the ground, a fighter has to finish that fight in 30 seconds, no matter where the position, or it gets stood back up. So we're watching history here, Jay. All rules in the interest of creating more action, shorter rounds, hoping the guys will work harder for the shorter period of time, stand up if nothing's going on. No elbows encourages a little more distance fighting, a little less clinching. Guys talking to each other a little bit there already, Jay. A lot of respect early, and then they start to give each other a little bit of a hard time. Nice right hand over the top. Lands flush from Shepard. Derby takes that shot, tells him to come on. Der Derby says, I bet you can't do it again. Oh. Well, there's, there's, the, there's the respect of the Derby ground game by Shepard, who exactly. we were referring to earlier, Jay. But boy, George whistled that one right by Derby's head after catching that kick. Another big roundhouse. Derby may be trying to go to the body. Oh, nice head kick from Derby. I was just going to say, Derby, maybe a lot of respect for both these oh, fighters. These guys love each other. Look at that lead hand of Jordan Shepard. Boxing style, trying to bait Derby in. Good job of closing that distance by Derby, but allow Shepard just to re release. Derby doing a good job using his kicks to maybe try to slow Shepard down a little bit. Just under the th under 30 seconds left in this shorter Draka rules round one, Jay. And here's Shepard dumping. Oh. Derby doing a great job grabbing, preventing the slam. Nice Gets sweep by Derby. Nice trip. Nice way to end a round with your David Derby. Yeah, sure is. Wasn't enough to steal the first round as both fighters help each other up. Shepard does a great job of extending without leaning into his punches. He keeps his base, but boy, does he punch long. Well, we, we heard his corner, Rick McCoy, saying, quit playing, George, almost as if George is just reserving that energy for some, some later rounds, the second round, third round. So we'll see if uh, George gets the green light to just let it go in this round two and, and bring it right to David, finish this fight. May not, not be that easy. Derby has been a game fighter in this round one, again, securing that very strong takedown at the end of the first. No, it was a beautiful sweep. Uh, when, it, when it looked like George was setting up the, the dump, as we're going to see the takedown right here. Oh, there's the right hand that almost, that could have ended the fight. And the respect that you mentioned that George has for David's ground game. Well, and both fighters embracing this Draka style of, of stand-up oriented fighting. You saw George could have gone right in the top position, allowed him to get back up and keep this fight standing. Oh, big right hand out of Derby, too. First one gray, second one was pretty flush. David Derby is in trouble on the ground under this onslaught. Pinpoint accuracy from Jordan Shepard. His referee, Scott Howard, stops the fight. Derby thinks it was early. Sounds like so does this crowd. 
Either way, it's a win for George. Hard to blame a ref when he thinks he's protecting a fighter. But that's a referee stoppage. Derby seems fine. Having said that, doesn't appear that referee Scott Howard changed the outcome of that fight because George Shepard was in excellent position as we're watching the replay, punching at will. Flush shot after flush shot. And it doesn't appear that Derby was going to be able to get away from too many of those punches. George laid off before David saw it because George could see the referee, Scott Howard, as he came in to stop that fight. Now Derby and Shepard having themselves a nice conversation in the cage as we go to Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 25 seconds of the second round. Your winner by knockout, George Lights Out Shepard. Here comes Ryan Track. I'm here with George. your winner, George Lights Out Shepard. George, first of all, uh, the fans here in Richmond just saw history as you were part of the first ever professional Draca Rules mixed martial arts fight in North America. So everybody give George a hand for that. <laughs> Second of all, congratulations on a great performance against an opponent you fought before. Uh, David Derby always brings great fighting to the, to the cage. Game opponent, talk about this fight. Uh, I mean, me and, me and Derby had our little thing today. I mean, we have history, friends outside the cage, opponents in the cage. He's a good dude, man, very upstanding fighter. But tonight I was just a better man. He caught me with a head kick very early on. I'm like, <laughs> very surprising, but it was a good fight, man. We just come out here, try to, just try to fight and put on a good show for the fans. I hope that we did that, man. Y'all have a nice night. George Lights Out Shepard, ladies and gentlemen.